big fella. Better thank me and your granddad, bro. God damn. So in today's video, me and my son, we're gonna give you a basic squat tutorial video. Uh, he's starting to learn how to squat now, so we're gonna teach him the basic right mechanics to help him uh, perform optimally. Uh, he doesn't really do it a lot, but he wrestles now, so now it's about time to start uh, getting funky with that real strength. All your strength comes from your core and your legs, and we're gonna test it today. So we're gonna start off warming him up, and then uh, as we go along, we'll uh, get his form down and help him uh, maneuver foot placement, how to uh, place the ball on his back and whatnot. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So this is just going to be a basic warm up. So now, where you want to put the bar is, come up closer. There's a bone right here on your neck. He has it too high right now. We want him to crunch his back up, let, loosen up a little bit. We want him to crunch his back up and line it across these two meaty muscles right here across the shoulder blades. Let's go. All right, so look at his feet. Make sure your feet are straight. Low wire, and you can slightly turn them out if you need to. Now what you want to do is sit your butt back a little bit. As you go down, sit your butt back, push your knees out. Push your knees out. Good. Nice and low, yeah. So don't arch your back so much. So lean back a little bit, sit your butt back. Yeah, look straight, look forward. You don't have to hyperextend your head or nothing. Shoot up. Give me five of those. Yeah, get a nice pause up. There you go. When you come up, move around, Ski. When you come up, you wanna squeeze your thighs and squeeze your glutes, but you don't have to tuck your butt in, all right? Yeah. So just come up, go down. Back, sit back, plant your feet, shoot up, squeeze. Right there. Let's get him. Give me three more. One. Two. Three. All right, rock it. So, a couple things. You don't need to over hyper extend your back. And you don't need to, what they say all the time, look up. You want to keep your spine as straight as possible. You don't want no curves or nothing like that because you don't want to impinge no nerves or nothing like that. That was actually a good squat. That was the first warm up. I just wanted to see how I performed it. And I forgot to tell y'all too, when you go, as, before you go down, turn around. Deep breath in, take a deep breath in. Hold it. As you're going down, hold it. Shoot it, shoot, shoot up as you're blowing the air out. As you suck the air in and hold it, it'll brace your core to help keep you upright. Let's try it again. Now we're going to go for a nice uh, 12, a warm up with the bar with 12 reps. We want to get some blood and some flexibility in the legs. Let's try it again. Yeah, cross the, cross the shoulder blades a little more. Walk in there a little more. Yeah. There you go. One step back, one step. Start over. Start over. Don't waste too much time. Going around, dangling the bar, your waist is gonna slip off, your core loosen up. Come off the rack, one, two, and then get your feet together. Do it again, and start to take a bigger step back, because you don't wanna bump through this. Ready? You feel it, is it even? Yep. All right, stand straight up, one step back. Dang, now get your feet together. Wiggle them out a little bit, they even. There right, you go. Deep breath in, look straight. Abs tight, sit your butt back, go. Yep, shoot up, one. Now what I want you to do is keep a constant motion. Don't go up too fast, don't come down too fast. Just stay flowing the whole time. Push the knees out, one, yep, go. Back down, don't even hold it at the top. Two, yep, three, good breathing, four, five, yep, good breathing, six, Mm-hmm. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Back up. Let's keep it back up. One more. Four. Walk it in there. Alright. How'd I feel? It feels, feels kind of like 
Yeah, it would just be sore after the bar is on it, but when you would feel it when you get in it. Like when you get in it like this, it'll feel right. Yeah. And if you get done doing the squats, it'll just feel sore in that area because you know that area is more grub on. Right, right. So you're basically creating like a little a man-made pad the more you start doing it. I mean he got a shirt off too. You don't need to have your shirt off. Um but it felt good, form looked good. The tempo is key. Don't drop too fast. You want to absorb all the weight as you're going down. You feel all the muscles firing. You want to develop more stability muscles and more power. Don't so, go up any weight unless you feel like you have the form down. Because you could actually hurt yourself. So we want to go for, what you want to start off with for your weight? You want a quarter? A quarter. We want to start off with a 95 for the warm up. Get you some little, uh, down the squat position, just stretch yourself out a little bit, real quick. Turn around. Yeah. Just some little stretches. Simulate a squat just so you can feel the movement. Sit down there and stay down there. And stay down there and stretch. I try to put your body upright. Like this. So when you when I say stretch like that, try to get in a position, put you down, and try to, and try to just be upright. You know what I mean? It's gonna stretch all your hips, stretch your hips and stuff. The more upright, the more challenging yeah, it is. You can do it better than me. Yeah, so I'm about to try this quarter. I'm about to get like five to seven reps. See how I do on this one. We ain't really going for reps today. We're going for like a little bit of power. I wanted to feel it. And, and, and I wanted to challenge him a little bit. All right, hold on. Let's get you in the middle. Go on. Don't resist. Don't resist. I'm just used to being tight. <laughs> Oh, now look, I want you to, now that you got weight on here, wrap your hands around the bar. Squeeze your hand with your thumb and everything. As you're squatting up, push the bar up. That'll take the, the, the pressure off your lower back if there is any. Three, Ready? One yes. big step back. Three, two, one. One step back, then another one. Stabilize. Get your feet stabilized. Air in the pocket. Look straight. Oops. Let's get it. Sit back. Push the knees out. Shoot. Front. Go. Give me five. Give me seven. Go. Go. Three. Push that bar. Push the bar. Four. Keep that head tilted a little forward. There we go. Count them out. Tilt the head forward. I forgot what number I was on. One more. One more. Good money. Walk it in calm. Keep walking. Good set. How do I feel? It was pretty easy because I'm still used to squatting and I didn't really do it on the bar, I just do it with dumbbells a lot. So I'm just used to squatting. So it didn't feel that heavy. Look at his marks on his face. Look at his wrestling marks. You gotta get him into some new a new chin strap or something, man. You need a more comfortable one. This is a little tough little fellow. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw the let's go, we're gonna put a 35 on now. 35s in the gym is typically useless, but I'm glad we got them. We want to try to work ourselves up to a, a, a plate today. We want to see what we can take. Want yeah. me to stay back here? Come on, just keep moving. That's your rule of mine. I'm only making the video because I'm making the video because a lot of people ask me how do I get my son in shape? Uh, what does he do? I'm just trying to be all over it. There's just there's, there's nothing magical here going on. It's just we take a lot of time to prep uh, and we do it in a, in a controlled environment to which we can actually concentrate. And my basement facil facilitates that. So, if you got a young kid, first if we did a warm up, uh, what'd you do? Uh, I did the quarter. 25. No, 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 what's your warm up to warm your body up? I, mean, I made him do a, a I body warm up. Three sets, I did three sets of hip thrust, super set. That's to warm up the glutes. Legs. Now, that's to warm up the glutes and the hamstrings. Because we want to we want to keep his knees in shape and preserved and make sure because a lot of people will have knee problems if they don't warm up properly which is if you don't warm your glutes up your hamstrings up if they if they don't fire correctly the knees will take the load so if you got knee problems a lot of times you got weak glutes and hamstrings that was his warm up but you did and did, did but he, bike, did, he did, did the bike, bike first too. he did that first Why not bike? let's go for let's go for five reps here too. I'm gonna go for five reps. It was a short break, but he made those look super easy. Let's go here. Boom. Boom. Get 
your butt back on and get up under here. Yeah. Wrap your whole hand around the bar. Wrap your whole thumb around the bar. Squeeze it. The more you squeeze the bar, the, 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 the tighter the rest of your body will get. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Push up. Make sure you even. Stand up. One step back. Boom. Put your feet together. Abs tight. Suck the air in. Stop till you hit down so much. Go. One. Come on. Right there. Two. Three, that bar up. Four. Good money. Rock it. I think you go to the, I think you go to the plate fairly easy. How you feel? Yeah, I think I can too. Alright, so we anticipated that a little bit. It's not wrong, but we, I didn't know that was gonna be that easy for him. Both dudes strong, man. I usually have them do a lot of walking lunges, goblet squats, front squats. I don't particularly back squat too much, but obviously he wants to be stronger. We ain't trying to burn him out, so we're gonna try to go for like a good uh, three to five. I'm, I'm gonna gauge it and see how well he does with it. So let me know when you're ready. All right, I'm ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't be crossing your arms. You said he was holding his arms like he had big titties or something like that? Like somebody's wearing them out. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Are you still on your muscles? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Boom, bar, hold it, then hand it a little bit more in, boom. Squeeze it. Let's go, you got this big dog. Three, two, one. Mm hmm Move your feet together, make sure you take that air in. Get your feet, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Shoot, one. Two. Come on. Three. Go, good money. Come on, four. One more. Money, racking. Good set, good set, good set. I know it was that strong, man. I know it was that strong. I like it, I like it, I like it. Come over here, man. I'm a little proud of this little ugly dude right now, man. How do it feel? It felt pretty good. So I think, so I think now, so we don't gas him out, I think we're just gonna go, we're gonna do sets of two to three real quick. Being that, like I said, he is a wrestler now, so we're not really going for no bodybuilding type of exercises. We're going for uh, power right now. But I'm careful to not push him to the limit right now. So we're going to see what goes on. We're going to try, I think you try 155, 185. Yeah, I think they're good. Yeah, 185. How's your body feel? I feel good. Legs feel tired or you feel like you keep going? I feel like keep going. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Mm. Two big reps, 185. Squat down, skittle, make sure you get this, get this footage. Get the corner. One big step back. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Put the feet together. Alright, reset. You throwing too much bobbler. Plant the feet, get up under there. Even when you get up under the bar, have a solid face, even just get the shit off the rack. Alright? Come off the rack confident. Get it under there. Now, now, make sure you got a solid base, then you push up. Put the thumbs around the bar, everything. Wrap everything, squeeze the bar. Hold on, move this foot in. Keep your feet close to get it off the rack. Keep here, yeah, push your feet closer to get it off the rack, and then go. Oh, my arm. Yep, stand up, and then take the step back. Now just wiggle the feet into place. Move this right foot back a little bit. Tighten up your chest. Abs tight. Come on. That's the only way you're going to get it. Move forward. Go. One. Get another one. Go. Come on. Racking. Racking. Let's talk about the challenges with that one. I probably mentally fatigued you. So, with the 185. Get back over here. I felt like my leg was getting like out of place with my step back because I was stepping too far back. And it made it a little harder for me to do the rep, but. What was harder about it? It was just like moving my leg back. Okay. When I moved my leg back and. So do you think it was the weight was too heavy or you just wasn't set right? I wasn't set right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for the 185 again uh -huh. and then we'll determine if we could go up again. All right. All right, take that as a learning experience. 
Set number two with 185. He didn't like the first one, so we're gonna see if we need more corrections or not. I'm gonna let him do it his way. Mm -hmm. Tight, look for it before you go down. Shoot, one, get another one. Shoot, two, racking. That looked good. Oh, I felt like it was way better than that last set because I was able to get my feet set better and faster. And when I go, when I get my feet set faster, it's easier for me to come back up when I go down. Ah, so you, do you want to try two and a quarter? Yes. He wants to try two and a quarter. Let's get out of here. Let's see what happens. Break that rock, boy. Um, it look good, man. Like, shit, form solid. Look confident doing it. I mean, we might as well go for 300. It's like, nah. Look at this boy. Ah. Just think, he's a little fat kid. Tell, so, ch tell him how you even got to this point where you was at. Because a lot of people seen your videos and your pictures when you was a little, little fat kid. So, tell him what happened. So, when my mom told me I was going over to my dad's for the summer, it was 20, it was, was it 2019 or 2018? Uh, 18. So I came over to dad's house in 2018 and I was nervous because I thought I was going to have to be lifting them heavy weights as soon as I got over there. But when I got over there, I was only running five blocks every, every morning at 7 o'clock in the morning for 30 days and I was already starting to see progress. So after that, that's when I started lifting weights, but they weren't really heavy. I didn't really start living heavy weights till I really got turned 14. He was so he was so mad he used to have to run them blocks. But what I did was I had to I had to get up every morning and run. But I took a picture of him before he started running, and then I took a picture 30 days after he started running. After I showed him the picture difference from 30 days, I ain't never have to make him run again. So after when I was running the seven block, well five blocks at seven in the morning, ooh. I can't, I'm not gonna lie, I was slacking like the first three days. <laughs> after, then when dad said that, well after dad uh, said that, well after I was running the blocks, he said, I know. I don't know if you slacking or not because I'll see your progress. And then that just scared me. So I just straight started running every five block. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I, I almost fell on one of the laps. That's how scared I was. How do you Man. almost fall, bro? Because yeah. I was so tired over the running. <laughs> All right, look. So here's some stretches real quick before we do this toe and a quarter. So put your feet closer together and, and put your chest upright as possible. Up and put your arms in between your knees. Yeah. Just drop them. Chest up more. Yep, yeah, flex your back straight up. Mm hmm. Oh, I felt that one. Yeah, yeah. He got jumped by a girl. That's what, he got jumped by, by two girls. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I'm with him. Weights. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> two plates, two and a quarter. We're going for one solid rep and we done. Ready? Yes. No retreat. No surrender. <laughs> <laughs> no retreat. No surrender. <laughs> Squeeze the bar before you go in there. Squeeze oh, the bar before you go in there. This is a real set. This is a real set right here. Show them plates. Show them plates. Let them know it's two and a quarter. No, I'm not saying yeah. I mean, they see one. They see both sides. 45. Mm -hmm. 45. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath. You concentrate, all right? Mm -hmm. Remember your steps. Remember everything you know you're supposed to do. Right. So make sure you keep them abs tight. Suck that air in and push the knees out. Two. One step. Shoot! One! Hold up. Hold up. Wait, because I felt like we found our breaking point. No, no, no. I'm glad you can't say it. Okay. I want another set. Why you want uh, another set? Because when I was push help, when I was holding the bar. I was holding the bar so tight, I was squatting it up, and I was pulling it down at the same time I was squatting it. So he said he was pulling the bar down. I, if you rewind back, I told you to push the bar up. 
Come on now. So we'll give him another set, but we're going to take that little pad off of it because, see, when you put the Charmin on there, it made him less grizzly. So yeah. we're going to go another three to five minutes, and then we're going to try it out again. The you, Char I don't want him to try it again. Do you want to try it again? I want to try it again. All right, well. The Charmin. Why do you do that? We'll see what happens. So this time, now you know what you got to do. You got to push the bar up. You pulled it down. I, you might not, but it's, it's a natural, it's a natural reaction. Time. It's a natural reaction. So as you're going down, you're basically doing this in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Bang. You get what I'm saying? Now, it's not going to come off your back. But when you're pulling it down, all you're doing is pulling it towards you now. You know what I mean? A lot of old school lifters, we was taught like pull the bar, bend it. But for me, it never worked for me that way. It was always easier when I, when I used all my muscles to straight push. Me trying to push with my legs at the same time pull this way, it, it, it don't make sense to me, you know what I mean? To me though, you know what I'm saying? You think it works for you, that never worked for me. Obviously it's not working for him, so guess what? He gotta, he gonna go for one more set, he's gonna try to push the bar up. He's gonna try to what? Push the bar up. He's gonna try to what? Push the bar up. So that's what you do. When you just see yourself on video, you record that data, see where you went wrong, assess it, fix it, you know what I mean? I can't feel what you feel. You can watch you, but you know what didn't feel right. So now you think about that, and then you decide where, when you get to that point again, how to, how to correct it. Set number two at two and a quarter. We're going for one solid rep. And what happened on the first set? You, on the first two and a quarter, you think? On the first two, I was... No, no, no. The first time you did two and a quarter, what do you think what just happened? Oh, when I, was, when I squatted down... I tried to push, I was going back up, and I pulled the bar down as I was pushing my legs. So it, did, it just didn't feel right, so I wanted to try another one. Look at that man's back, he looks like a little ninja turtle. All right. Do what feels right. I'm right here. I seen the hesitation. So what did you have to correct it? I had to correct it. So yeah. what did you so what made it feel better this time? It made it so as I went down. Why you took that tampon off of there? That's right. one thing. <laughs> what? That's one thing. What's the next move? The next one. Turn around. Turn around. The next one when I went down on the bar, it was easier for me to come up because I stopped pulling down and started pushing up. Like with my legs, my arms with my legs at the same time. Boom. And that's how I squat. So my son, what's your name? His name's BJ. And he's a little teeny, little BJ. He just turned 15. How much do you weigh? 128. Weighs 128 pounds. Uh, he's not, I mean, he's wrestling now, but we're just trying to keep him strong, fit, and lean. So before he's not real tall either, and he don't weigh a lot. So this is big fucking money being able to squat like this and with proper form. So if y'all want to see more stuff like this and want to go see what other muscle groups he does that we, we, we train with, you, know, you just let me know. Get set, good, good workout today. So what you about to do now? I'm about to go make my protein shake. All right, one or two scoops. One. Okay, let's go let, watch him make this shake. What's up, y'all? I'm about to make my post-workout shake. So I'm putting this, this, this. I put oatmeal and the green powder in here. I'm getting one scoop of my vanilla protein. It got my name on it and everything. BJ. I'm about to get some peanut butter too. I only put like four or five ice cubes in my shake. Not a lot of water. About this much. I put my protein in. Then my green powder. And my oats. About a half cup of oatmeal. Did you measure that? Yeah. A half of one cup. And then my peanut butter. Oh, thanks. Who grabbed these, y'all? What was over there? I don't know. 
Where the car key at? Oh my god. <laughs> he always loses oh, the car key. Got my shape. Now I'm all done.